everyone, I'm Holly with Missouri River Soap and today I'm making Christmas cookie soap. The first thing I'm going to do is add in my coconut milk to my base oils. I like to get the coconut milk all blended in nicely. I'm going to tap out the air bubbles. It's pretty shallow down in this container so it's being a little bit stubborn with depth wise okay so now I want to add in the lye solution I have the fragrance oil sitting over here by me and it just smells so good I about can't stand it really makes me want a Christmas cookie for sure Gonna give this a little bit of a blend. I want to split just a tiny bit off for some white for the frosting. And I don't want very much. I've been contemplating how I was going to do this. I don't want a thick band of white by any means. I don't want it to discolor so I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit off and I'm doing two loaves and I really just don't want a whole bunch. And then into this base, we'll go ahead and go the fragrance oil. I'm thinking though, I should, so that I don't put any more of the fragrance into this one via the stick blender later, I should mix this one first. So I'm going to add just about a half a tablespoon of my mixture for now. Oh yes, that's fine. I want that to remain rather thin. Okay. The fragrance oil is just a nice color. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It smells so good. This is a custom blend. We have a Christmas cookie fragrance and a little bit of a shortbread with a little bit of lemon and just the combination oh my now I'm going to rely on this fragrance discoloring the batch. I'm not going to add anything to it. It does occur to me that perhaps I should lighten it just a hint. That would actually work out quite nicely. I just lighten it just a little bit to keep it from going too dark. want to texture the top just a little bit though I do believe. So I'm bringing up some of the white onto the edge to pull down anything that might be uncolored, unwhitened, unfragranced possibly so that it's a uniform color and discolor. This is very thin still. It's being quite delightful. It is at a light, just a faint light trace and I don't know if you can see that. We we'll swirl some of the batter onto the top and it will leave a bit of a mark. It is at a light to medium trace at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and get it in and 
we have to keep in mind that this is going to discolor I just love frosted sugar cookies at Christmas I mean who doesn't I mean I suppose there's somebody but oh my goodness so good one of my favorite holiday treats I'm going to spend a few moments scraping out the container and then I'll come back to you okay so this white part ended up being a little bit thicker than I planned on let's just see what happens I'll get it on for the most part and see how much I have I think I have plenty so I think I'll end up having a little thicker white top than I intended but we'll roll with it we will roll with it go with the flow it's always amazing to me how little soap is actually needed just to do like little stripes on the top or um, those little in the pot swirls etc. It just doesn't take that much soap in the long run. So get this scraped out and then what I think I will do is I'll just kind of get it um, somewhat even here so I guess we're just going with the white top at this point basically what I didn't want to do but it'll be alright So I was thinking that I would just get a little bit of a design on here. So I'm gonna, just going to do a swirly eight design. Looks like I've got a little. Always looks really nice, especially on a solid color. So now I want to run down the edges to smooth it out, but that is going to change my design and it's going to pull it. So I don't think I'll end up doing that this time. So now I have some um, sanding sugar. So I have some red, some plain, and some green. And I don't know if my gloves are gonna work. Let's give this a try. Yeah, it'll be fine. I don't want a lot. Just a little bit. Not a lot, I'll just a little. And I'll kind of give it the look of having, you know, sprinkles on the top of a frosted Christmas cookie. I ordered holiday aprons this year and wondered why I've never done that before. I was kind of surprised. I was like, hey lady, you do realize you could buy a special holiday apron and wouldn't that be so fun? So I did. I bought aprons this year. Okay, so now I'm going to put in a little bit of the red. Now I did color my own sanding sugar here. I spritzed with a little bit of high percentage alcohol and put in a little bit of mica to get the colors and then I kind of made sure as much excess color was off as possible I probably won't spritz this with alcohol because I don't want those um, the micas to bleed at all so it may end up ashing a little bit but it should be fine because it's a white top anyway this is so much fun. I am loving 
this. Every year I see Christmas cookie soaps. And I'm like, why don't I make Christmas cookie soaps? I like Christmas cookies. And of course, by the time other people are posting about theirs, you know, we've all made our soaps for the most part by then. So, this isn't showing up a whole lot, but I think it's still going to look nice in the long run. Having a little bit of this just regular sanding sugar. I'm not going to glitter anything because we do have some people, good, good customers that aren't big fans of glitter. And sometimes the glitter does get overwhelming the holiday season. So I'm not going to glitter this one today. It looks like this right mold for me ended up just a little bit fuller. So hopefully it won't be off by a whole lot. So here we have Christmas cookie soap and it's scented in a very sugar cookie shortbread with a hint of a lemon and it smells amazing and I'll see you back here for the cut. Alright so I am back to cut this sugar cookie soap on Christmas cookies and it's looking pretty good. I have a loaf that I've already cut up and it's about a week into its cure maybe getting closer to two at this point but it looks pretty nice all cleaned up and this is kind of the awkward teenager stage. It's not fully cured yet and not fully discolored yet. So it's still kind of a little bit speckly and mottled looking. But it's going to improve. So the inside is still the creamy color because the vanilla had not been exposed to the air. But it will fully discolor like that other soap bar. And I don't know if you could see it but it is starting to discolor bleed up into that white just a little bit i didn't use any uh, mica line or anything for this one because i didn't expect it to get too dark but we'll see i think it'll be okay in the long run i just love the uh, sugar crystals on the top looks great just works out perfect now i've used salt also before but I kind of like how this sugar is looking like the crystals a little bit differently now I see my I'm a little bit wobbly but my guitar dealio is broken up here and I don't know if I can get this tightened or not a little bit I guess hand tightened I have some extra pieces somewhere. I just can't find them. I don't know what the deal with that is. The first time I um, got some new acts and I had them sent to my old house in Kansas City. And I never did get a hold of those. We asked our old neighbor to go retrieve them, but I don't know. They're just lost and gone forever. And then I had a replacement sent to me here. And now, who the heck knows where those went? I don't know. I feel like come January, I just need to have a, just a good old-fashioned declutter. I just need to go through everything. and That always feels good in January anyway for your whole house, doesn't it? Let's kind of straighten everything up. So this smells so good. It's just a very light cookie. It's not overly sweet. You get that hint of the lemon in the shortbread. And that's actually quite refreshing. So I think you'll like that too. I feel like I ran out of things to say. I'm just like stumped. I'm just not quite sure what to say at the moment. We will use the remainder of this one for some samples. And it's good to go ahead and get these started on their discoloration path also. So you can see this was the original end cut, how it is changing already as it was working its way in. Now I do have quite a bit of ash on this batch and the reason is is because this time of year our temperature is fluctuating so much from um, daytime to evening and I don't have 
central air up here. I use heaters and and a window air conditioner and such. And so it's just it's kind of the humidity is fluctuating and the temperature is fluctuating and that is contributing to a lot of this ash which seems quite noticeable now but once it's all cleaned up it looks pretty good all right guys so there we have our christmas cookie soap and i'll see you for the next one bye <music>